What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mom and Papa Joe. Today on the menu are some beef back ribs. We're going to try these a different way, though. Uh, we're going to cook them on the rotisserie using the Weber kettle. Never done that before. I'm looking to get them nice and crunchy with that deep, dark uh, mahogany. Uh, first time on our channel, we appreciate you stopping in. Take a look around. We think you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into it. Here is our rack of beef back ribs, man. Not much to do in terms of prepping. Again, all the meat, most of the meat is in between the bones. Very often you're gonna see shiners like you see here, little thin spots. That's from where they cut this so close to the bone to leave more meat on that ribeye roll. We're gonna leave the membrane on the back. Areas where that membrane is pretty heavy though, I want to just score it. Too lazy to get a knife. All right, that's gonna help that render. I do not know how I'm gonna get this on my rotisserie, but we're going to give it a shot. I have no idea. flexing in the middle so I can see maybe a little butcher twine to attach the center to the spit. I'm making this up folks, I'm making this up. All right, I think that'll work. <laughs> One, two, three. All right, just to hold this on here. And I've only got two of the prongs uh, halfway into the meat. And I'm gonna be using my Maggie as a bit of a binder. These ribs are pretty dry. And the seasoning is gonna be very simple. Plain, coarse black pepper. All I want from these ribs are just a good crunch and a good crust. So plain coarse black pepper and some deep fried garlic jalapeno. Doesn't get much simpler than that. Flip over, same thing on the meat side. Deep brown garlic jalapeno. All right, so we'll do a quick cleanup and we'll head outside. All right, I have got 22 briquettes, Western wood garlic onion briquettes, smelling good as usual, 22 in each basket. I've got a pan just to catch some dripping, make cleanup a little easier. I tried to measure exactly how this rack was going to sit. Let's see uh, how well I did. I've got almost everything locked down already. All right, I think that's going to do. It's not even, but I'm going to go with what I got. I'm thinking this entire cook might take uh, two and a half, three hours. 
I hope my butcher twine can withstand this heat. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Man, I am not feeling it. I'm gonna come back with a little more butcher twine. Yeah, I am not feeling this right now. All right, that's some additional butcher twine. Let's see if that helps. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna have to do. We've got both vents wide open and we're gonna see if we can make it do what it do. All right, folks, we are at one hour. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> wow. Let me stop for a second. Wow, this is the color I was looking for, man, but I didn't think it would happen this quickly. All right, it feels just a hair tight. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna spritz. I'm gonna let this go another half hour, come back and check again. I don't think this is gonna take two hours. Wow. All right, 30 more minutes. All right. We are an hour and a half uh, exactly. And man, I think we're gonna pull these. Wow. Oh yeah, nice and soft. Let me get a temp check. I ended up throwing in another handful of uh, briquettes. I added another four on each side. Whew, that one says 211. All right, folks, we are good, man. Uh, it's probing like butter. I did not anticipate uh, hour and a half anyway we are going to pull this and we're going to give it a couple of 10 20 minutes to rest all right we've given these a few minutes to rest man and wow i'm telling you i am absolutely blown away an hour and a half that color is beautiful man the crusty exterior that i was looking for that deep mahogany uh i don't even think i'm gonna need a knife don't even think I'm gonna need a knife. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Knock off just a little bit of that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Juices are spicy. Folks, I don't know if you've ever been to Brazilian steak houses, but that is exactly what this tastes like. My goodness. Mm. That crust is just perfect, man. It's crunchy, but it's not hard. It just breaks apart in your mouth. And the simple seasoning, black pepper, and a little heat rise, garlic jalapeno. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I cheated you guys, man. This cook was so easy. Folks, I can rip this. Oh, I can rip this apart in my hand. Hour and a half. I don't believe it. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you would have told me that and I hadn't seen it myself, I'd have my doubts. But an hour and a half beef back ribs, juicy and tender as all get up. I want to thank you guys once again for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe's. Uh, and once again, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate your support if you haven't done so just yet. Be able to look out for another video coming soon, as well as our live stream every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central. I want you guys to take care of yourselves, look out for each other, and we'll see you when we see you. Holla!